So far, this year has shown how gullible a lot of people are for any bit of negative information and how crazy or how far a lot of people will go to spread their hate in the disguise of criticism. And sometimes I just want to drop the bomb on them haters today because it is looking great so far. And I'm really excited. I'm not going to lie, I'm a huge fan of Bioware, so this is great news to me. It lets me know that one of my favorite studios out there is not gonna die anytime soon. So hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you're doing splendid today. Hope you are doing amazing. We have some great news dropping just a few hours ago. Now I know a lot of your favorite YouTubers and critics out there are not gonna talk shit about this. So we're just gonna talk about it. So Anthem, earned the title of having the most released sales in Bioware history, only second to Mass Effect 3. In fact, Anthem is the second highest selling game in 2019 so far, just second to Jump Force 3. So that is just big news to begin with. So when Bioware released that message to the fans yesterday, it was because they have seen the finalized first month numbers, the first 30 days, they have seen those numbers. It has come in all physical and digital. And while they know that the game needs a lot of work, I mean, it does need a lot of work. And with all the returns that went into the game, people send the game back to the store. Anthem is still a top game in Europe, Asia, and even here in the American region. A lot of people who said they returned the game, guess what? The game is going into shrink and the loss of the retail store not Bioware or EA. This also further supports the fact that Anthem now has a better launch than Mass Effect Andromeda, the Dragon Age games, Mass Effect 1, and Mass Effect 2. It also supports my previous video that I made about physical sales figures phasing out due to less physical copies being made, and the fact that a lot of us gamers would most likely buy our games from our couch in front of our computer instead of going to the store to get it. Once again, Anthem has its fair share of well-deserved criticism, but most of it were just people raging just for views, people just getting your emotions all told up. Those people don't really give a damn about you. This is a new IP and it's always gonna be fresh. It's always gonna sell well because it's new. People haven't seen it before. It's the only AAA game with a very massive power fantasy, with the second thing being next to Destiny and Warframe. The flight system in Anthem is just one of those things that sold the game for me and a lot of players out there. And this right here not only shows the performance, but also shows that EA can now loosen the grip a little on Bioware and let Bioware breathe and enjoy that creative freedom. This also made a lot of publications liars. A lot of YouTubers will obviously not cover this because they will have to eat their words. I have known this since Monday, by the way, because I work with industry professionals, but industry NDA got a lift before I can even say anything about it. So is Anthem dying? Because I know Clint Prince and Darwin Dunst, they're going to do their video. No, Anthem is not dying. Don't let people lie to you. The game is still alive. In fact, a lot of these critics are clocking in more hours than the fans themselves. Anyways, let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching. It's Dia signing out. I'll see you in the next one.